and welcome to today's Grace's Dreams Christmas special. Today we are going to make our very own hanging Christmas tree. It's like spring. So for today's activity you will need one paper plate, a green pen, some glue, one scissors and a printout of our baubles. So while we're waiting for your play specialist to get this, we are going to start with our first story, which is called The Best Present Ever. Hey, Lightning, look at me. Woo! Matter sledged past his best buddy, Lightning McQueen. It was winter time in Radiator Springs. Christmas was just a few days away and fresh snow covered the ground. The two friends were taking turns sliding down a snow-covered hill using Matter's one-of-a-kind junkyard sledge. I'm telling you, and here's the best sledge in Radiator Springs, Matter cried. I know, you have told me, Lightning said, laughing several times. It has its own headlights and super-fast gliders and built-in bumper tyres, the friends said together. Well, hold your horsepower, said Matter, because it's going to be even more fun when we take it sledging in Kasploosh Mountain. Kasploosh Mountain was a water park near Radiator Springs. For just one day a year at Christmas, the water slides were frozen over so that cars could go sledging down the chutes. Ah, oh, Matter, there's something I need to tell you, Lightning looked worried. Remember that Russian ice racers cup I'm competing in? Well, sure, said Matter, the one in the few weeks. That's just it, Lightning said. They moved it to this week. I'm not going to be here for Christmas after all. Matter stopped dead in his tracks. You're not? Lightning shook his head. I'm really sorry, buddy. I know I'll miss Christmas at Kasploosh Mountain, but hey, maybe we can do something else when I get back. Yeah, sure thing, Matter said, trying to hide his disappointment. Later on, Matter pulled into Flo's V8 calf. Hey there, Matter, Flo called. Want to try a sip of my new eggnog oil? It's guaranteed to fill you up with Christmas cheer. Oh, I could use some, said Matter. I'm all out of Christmas cheer. Something got you down, honey? Flo asked. Matter sighed. Lightning won't be home for Christmas. He's in some Russian race cup. That's too bad, Flo said. I guess you'll have to celebrate Christmas early. Yeah, celebrate early. That's a good idea, said Matter. Then he thought for a moment. Oh, shoot. I forgot about presents. I've got to get lightning something. But what? Flo looked thoughtful. Hmm. Well, you're going to be, you're going to miss him while he's away, right? Yeah, Matter nodded eagerly. So how about you getting him something for the race? So he knows you'll be thinking of him, like ear mufflers or a snow scraper. Or snow tyres, that's a great idea, Flo. I know just where to go, Matter dashed off. Luigi, Matter yelled as he skidded up to Casadella tyres. I need your help. For you, Matter, anything, Luigi said with a smile. Those snow tyres, said Matter, the ones that used to be in your front window. Where'd they go? I need to buy them for lightning for his crushing dice cup. Luigi's smile faded. Ah, I can do anything but that. I'm afraid someone's already bought them. They just left a moment ago. Sure enough, outside a big truck was driving away from the shop. Matta raced after the truck and explained the situation, then pleaded with the truck. I need those tyres for my best buddy's Christmas gift. I'll give you anything, the truck sighed. Sorry, but I've been dreaming of speeding through the snow with these super fast tyres. What if I told you I had something that goes even faster than those tyres? Curious, the truck agreed to meet Matta at the edge of town. Meanwhile, Matta raced to his junkyard to grab his sledge. All right, Matta said. When the two trucks met again, I'll bet my sledge is faster going down that hill than you in those tyres. If I'm right, we'll trade, deal? The truck agreed and soon they were zipping down the snowy slope. Matter zoomed past the truck and won. The truck happily traded the tyres for Matter's sledge. Meanwhile, Lightning was helping Sally decorate the Cozy Cone Motel. 
I feel awful, he said. Matter looked so sad when I told him. Well, said Sally, do you need to do the race? Huh? asked Lightning. It's not part of your normal circuit, Sally pointed out. I'm sure they'd understand if you didn't go. Lightning's eyes lit up. You're right. Matter is my best friend and a trophy is just another trophy. I'm going to withdraw from the race and stay here for Christmas. The next day, Lightning and Matter exchanged gift. Open yours, open yours, open yours, cried Matter. Okay, said Lightning, but Matter, I have some good news. That Lightning trailed off as he unwrapped the tyres. You got these for me? He asked, looking up at his friend. Yeah, Matter grinned from mirror to mirror. If my best buddy can't be here for Christmas, then he'd sure as heck better win his blushing mice cup. Do you like them? Lightning was touched. Matter, I love them, but... Matter was already ripping open his gift when he saw the two tickets for Kasploosh Mountain. His eyes grew wide. Lightning shrugged. My race was delayed, so now I can spend Christmas with you, buddy. No way, Matter exclaimed. This is awesome. I can't believe we're going to Kasploosh Mountain on Christmas Day. Now we can take my sledge and... Uh-oh. Hey, where is your sledge? Lightning asked, looking around. Matter shuffled nervously. Oh, I may have kind of sort of traded it to get you them their snow tyres. The two friends stared at each other. Then they started to laugh. <laughs> Can you believe this? Lightning exclaimed. We thought we were going, getting each other the best perfect Christmas presents. But we ended up getting stuff we can't use. <laughs> Matter nodded. Yeah, but I'll tell you one thing, buddy. Spending Christmas together is still the best present ever. Lightning smiled. Same here, pal. I wouldn't change a thing. Matter looked at the gifts. Well, shoot, what are we going to do with four tyres and no race and two tickets with no sledge? A twinkle came to Lightning's eyes. Well, we may not have a junkyard sledge, but we do have a junkyard, Matter. Didn't your old sledge have bumper tyres? Matter bounced up and down. Oh, oh, I see where you're going. He started racing around the junkyard, collecting scraps to build a new sledge. This is going to be so cool. On Christmas Day, Matter and Lightning sat at the top of Kasploosh Mountain. Beneath them was a new junkyard sledge, except this one was extra special. It had two seats, flashing Christmas lights, double gliders and extra large bumper tyres. It's Matter's Sledge 2.0 with double the sledging fun, cried Matter. You ready for this? Lightning asked as they teared on the top of the slide. You bet, said Matter, as long as I've got you my good buddy with me. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. The end. So we will start off with our paper plate. And the first thing we need to do is color it in. So I've got my green pen. And I'm gonna color all in my paper plate. You need to colour it all in and all round the sides. And once you have finished with the first side, you need to go on and colour the other side. So once you've completed colouring in your paper plate on both sides, then this is the time when we need to start to cut. Now, please ask an adult to help with this. So, this, first of all, we make one little cut there. And then we go in around the outside of the plate. When you're coming near to where you started, go in a bit more. So we're making a big swell. And then doing the same here. And going in to here. So then you will have something that looks like this. Now, once you've done this, 
the next thing is to get your sheet, your print off sheet of your Christmas decorations to go on and colour them in. Now I've already started with mine, I've coloured mine in. So I am going to cut them out. Now with these, when you cut them out, you need to leave the part of the top still on. So don't cut that off leave that on because we need to use that part to stick down onto the tree. These are the colours that I have chosen for my baubles but you can do any colour that you want to do. And there are also some other decorations that you can colour in and put onto your tree as well. Or why not make your own? Why don't you draw some of your own pictures and you can decorate your tree with those as well. Is there any character that you particularly like? My favourite is Elsa. I really like Elsa and I like Olaf. I also like Paw Patrol. So if you want to try and draw some of your favourite characters and put them on the tree as well, then you should, because this is your tree, you get to choose the designs. Maybe even print off some photos of your characters you like, like Elsa, and you could do the same thing. Cut around it, and make sure you leave some room at the top. So we can use that bit to stick down on. Are you using some of your favourite colours on your baubles? This is one of my favourite ones because I like the colour blue. I also like gold and I also like silver. So, once you've finished cutting out your baubles or your decorations, now it's time to get your glue and put some glue on the end of the white bits that you've kept and just stick it under like that. Going on my next one. Sticking it under like that. And my next one. Now you can do it all the way around, you can put as many on as you want. Have loads and loads and loads and loads. So, this is the start of mine. And then once you've done all that, you should have something that looks like this hanging Christmas tree. So the final step is to put your star on. Now there's a star that you can print off and colour in on the sheet. I'm going to use my little star that I've got here and with the star I'm also going to put some string. Here's the star on the top of my Christmas tree. And now I have my hanging Christmas tree.
I hope you've enjoyed today's Grace's Dreams workshop and I hope you have a Merry Christmas. And you've got loads of smashing designs on your Christmas tree. Well done. Goodbye for now.